So today I'm going to jump on and talk about, I guess, some of my shortcomings and kind of the things that kind of hold me back a lot, especially like the stuff I've been, I guess, of listening from other podcasts and observing the, like some of the behaviours I do and what the these people do that made them stop and so forth. And it's like, one of the biggest ones is like the, the identity that you create to stop you from doing things. So like, I can't do that because of this, I can't do this because of that and so forth. And this all comes around to a lot of judgment of self. So it's like, oh, well, if I, if I don't go after say that thing, then say people can't judge me if I, fa- I can't judge myself if I fail. If that didn't make too much sense for you, very know where I'm going with this. And it's like, you start creating, you know, these stories and stuff not to get to that goal because you don't want to be judged if you don't reach that goal. So you'd rather sit back and not do anything and talk about it. But talking about getting there and it's like, oh, well, if I talk about it a lot, then, you know, people think I'm doing something, but then something I'm really not. And then you go in and like, what if like I achieve it and I fail or, you know, go after it? So you start creating these stories of why you shouldn't, you know, shouldn't go after that goal or, you know, you, you know, what are people going to think of me? Because you're judging yourself on people judging you. And it's such like a, I guess one of my really bad traits is like, I, yeah, it's like I worry about people judging me, which it comes back to judging myself a lot. And this is something I've slowly started to overcome over time and I've gotten a lot better headspace since like last year and that because I come really publicly more on my private Facebook accounts open with what I'm doing as beforehand I wasn't o- I was sharing but I wasn't overly sharing I wasn't posting I was just more sharing the post from my business page and that so I wasn't really going full and deep as I was before and now I'm like gaining I guess a bit of more momentum with things I can you know there's you know there's less judgment but then I also you know when it comes to a lot of things I stop myself from doing it and like one of the other things is it's like I don't, I've spoken about this on a Facebook Live, it's like I don't experience stuff to the fullest ability because I'm so worried about what's going to happen next and it's like, oh, so like what if this happens, what if that happens? It's like, okay, now I've done that goal, I'm like what's next? If I don't keep the ball moving, I'm not going to achieve my next goal. And it's something that I kind of, I drive myself insane over it because I overwhelm myself with fucking so many tasks each, say each day, and then I won't complete half of them, and then it'll be like, oh, fucking, you know, you start, you self, you know, self-sabotage yourself, sorry, start self-beating yourself over it because you haven't reached or, you know, maintained working towards those goals and realizing that, oh, I had other stuff on today and I only have like, you know, two hours to smash out those, you know, 10 things, when really, Two of those ten things are going to take like a few hours to do anyway. And it's just like, you know, it's the crazy concept that we I think we all do it for the set up such high expectations that we cannot reach ourselves. So then it creates, you know, how they say this. So then we can't, you know, get reached to our fullest of potential, even if we just set little goals each day, then we can get there a lot quicker instead of trying to, you know, jump it up <laughs> kind of thing. But yeah, those are like kind of the, some of the things I'm, I struggle with a lot, even today still, and I'm, you know, I'm working through it. And I'd love to have a conversation with people about this, because, you know, what ways do you use to overcome this kind of stuff? But yeah, hope, you know, hope you just got something out of this video, and I'd love to have a chat afterwards, so send me a DM, you know, even ask me to do a FaceTime or meet up in person, we'd be more than happy to talk. But yeah, have a good day, guys.